Right, perfect. Uh, as you see, we have uh, an online presentation now um, from uh, Noah Meyer. And, well, in the lightning talks, it will all be speeded up a little bit more, so we will not have questions in the end. But hear the talk, hear the insights, and then move on. So, if everything's working, we can start. Um, let me start my presentation very quickly. Um, do you see uh, the presentation also? Yes, everything is fine. Okay, great, great. So, uh, okay, I need to see through this, um, but i um, very happy to be here. I'm sorry I'm not there with you physically, and I hope, inshallah, that next year uh, I could come. Um, let me dive right in. So uh, Syriac literary culture um, is um, the object of my studies. Um, Syriac literary culture is found in a mass of more than 20,000 manuscripts worldwide. Um, what's special about um, these manuscripts is um, they're relatively early. I think already in the early fifth century, we have dated manuscripts. Uh, in the hundreds uh, throughout um, late antiquity, which I'm un unaware if there is uh, a single parallel. To, uh, I'd be happy to hear after. Um, so um, the important uh, aspect of these manuscripts, these pre-modern manuscripts, are uh, the multi-dimensional aspect of them. So um, we have multiple agents you know operating on one object authors scribes readers owners commentators etc and they um their writings are marked differently um, so let me show you an example um here you see the rubricated texts are actually texts from um scribal texts i'm calling them um, they're, they're texts not of authors. Now, one thing um, that um, I, I wanted to emphasize is that these pre-modern manuscripts, uh, as you can see, they're, they're, um, many of them are multiple text manuscripts. That is, um, they don't fit the genre, the structure. They don't fit exactly what we would think of a book. They're organized a little differently or in a, a more raw pre-modern form. So uh, here you see the rubricated text again is scribal text, whereas the black text is a quotation. It's an excerpt from some sort of Greek or Syriac source. So the black text is, represents uh, a text of an author, and the red text is the scribe who brought the text is um, commenting, introducing it, but adding information that is not trivial at all. So, so most of the research and um, also the, the, the digitization have focused on authors. And uh, we have, um, you know, uh, decades and decades and decades of, of um, scholarship on, on producing text editions of authors and, and building databases, um, all focused on the authorial texts. So in, in, my, in this specific um, chapter of my research, I'm asking what, um, what about the scribal texts? What if we wanna you know, say something about them or ask something about them as you see here? This is not a, it's not a small amount of texts um, and there's significant things happening here and uh, we want to, to be able to say something about it. But these texts aren't part of the datification process, what you might say. So um, I, I've seen other presentations today, um, which were all amazing but some of them were uh, talking specifically about this kind of um, layout analysis of tagging. What, what we have in, in our manuscripts and the series is an overlap between the visual feature and the agency. So um, what, what, we, what I just showed you. So uh, my thought was that um, layout analysis model could identify the rubricated text 
And then uh, uh, an HTR model uh, will identify the, 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 will do the reading of the Syriac text. So um, it's basically what I did. Um, I, I tagged, um, not, I mean, here I see it's page 203, but I didn't tag 200 pages. It was more like something like 60 or 70, something like that. And um, you see, I just marked, this is the key here. I didn't relate to the black text. I only tagged the rubricated text so that the model will learn that this is the only text I'm interested in in this page. And uh, upon that model, or not on the model, but um, I fine-tuned, I used as a base model a few um, public models that are already been developed by Beth Marduto. And I fine-tuned them to um, specifically the Syriac um, script of, of the manuscripts I work on. And um, here, here is the current uh, results, uh, the current status. So you see that um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, for some reason here, this, um, uh, the top the most uh, representation seems to be the easiest one to identify. Aside from that, and some pages here, it looks like it did really well. As far as the text goes, also the text is, um, again, not perfect. You know, you have to have a, um, a human reader go over it, but um, definitely pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, as far as future work, what, I, what I'd like to do with this is after completing um, of the models and the training, I'd like to measure um, maybe in sample or uh, in bulk um, Syriac scribal presence across late antiquity. Um, I would so I want to like cut out. I want to put in a few manuscripts and um, you know sort of be able to cut out the so that uh, I can get like a, um, a quantitative measurement even of how scribal texts uh, behaved across late antiquity, and uh, finally also uh, to produce, of course, a corpus of scribal texts, um, which I, I, if we'd have time, I'd uh, you know give you a taste of what uh, what they're saying. But um, that's basically the short version. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much.